everyone. My ARC review for this week is called WikiLeaks Cable Show Cables Show Worry About Saudi Oil Security. And pretty, mo pretty much what it's, it's about is on February 4, 2006, Al-Qaeda suicide bombers um, attempted to blow up Saudi Arabia's um, Abquaic oil processing facility. And um, when that happened, uh, U.S. officials and the U.S. Department said that um, said that the security was um, well prepared for the incident, that everything was fine, and that everything was handled well. And then now, um, the secret U.S. State Department cables obtained by WikiLeaks, um, they um, said these cables said that the a security around the facility and the security in the area was not did not handle it well and was ill prepared and um, they were lucky that nothing serious happened. Um, WikiLeaks obtained this information through secret U.S. Department cables and then they shared it with um, McClatchy newspapers, which then shared it with everybody else. Um, then when U.S. officials um, were asked to comment on the subject or asked to comment on what they thought about it or if this was or true or anything like that, they refused to um, they refused to um, respond and they had no comment. And then later on in the article, it goes on to say about how five years later they still feel that um, everybody still feels that there is a threat to suicide bombings and other things like that happening to Saudi Arabia's oil fields. Um, and so this company called Armaco, which was the company that owned the, the Abquaic oil processing facility, and then the Ministry of Interior in Saudi Arabia are trying to work together to increase security, but they found out in more um, cables that WikiLeaks found that uh, they're having trouble coming to agreements on what they think security should be, so they're bickering about it and kind of making the problem worse. And then, um, and then also later on in the article, it goes on to state that there are a couple more worries because they feel that some of the um, employees of, at the Abquick oil processing facility could be related to terrorist groups and things like that, but that's all just speculation. And overall, the article ended with. Um, the U.S. is trying to get um, control on it and trying to um, get security better increased and things like that. Um, references that I made from the communications class in the book to the article were um, um, one reference I came up with was um, the word avoidance, which like, I found on page 261 and page 270. And avoidance is characterized as an unproductive conflict strategy in which you take mental or physical flight from the actual conflict. And I think that um, this kind of ties in with the article and the communications class because the U.S. Department, did, State Department, refused to comment on it, on the whole, the cables being leaked to WikiLeaks and things like that, and I just don't understand why they wouldn't make a comment on it. I mean, is it, how true is it, because this is what this newspaper is saying, but how true is it? And I'm sure the American public would really like to know a little bit more on it so they could be a little more clear on their view of it. Um, and then another um, term that I connected from the book to the article was the term cost, and I found that on page 242 in the book, and cost is anything you would normally do to try to avoid something. And I feel like um, the the whole article I just feel like is costing everybody every, ev costing everybody something in some sort of sense because it's costing the American people because the American people are like, great, is that um, what's going to go? What's happening with our with the oil processing up? oil processing facility in Saudi Arabia and then on top of that it's costing the American the American government because they are refusing to 
they're refusing to comment on anything. Um, and I think that, in my opinion, it creates a little more, it creates more, uh, more drama and more um, confusion. And then my third one was um, connection between the book and the article was effect, which I found on page 10. And effect has a definition of the outcome or consequence of an action or behavior. And I feel like because this article, because the U.S. State Department did not want to comment on it and um, that it's going to cause a lot more confusion with the American people and in return it's going to cause a lot more problems for the American government. And then also another connection I made um, to the word effect um, related to the article was that because the Armaco company and the Ministry of Interior are fighting and they can't come to, and they're bickering about not coming to uh, an agreement on how security should be upheld and improved throughout the facility, um, I feel that that's going to affect the facility because in the long run, if they're bickering about this, nothing's going to get done about handling it and increasing security. Um, two things I learned or found interesting, I found that I thought it was interesting to try to connect the text, um, the textbook to the article that I found. I found it a little difficult at first, but once I started getting into the swing of things, I realized that um, that you can make a lot of connections to the words in the book and um, outcomes and concepts of the book to the articles because communication is everything. Um, and it's everywhere and it kind of all ties together. So by doing this assignment, I kind of tied the textbook and like communicating through newspapers, things like that together for me. And then another thing that I've learned or found interesting was I still don't understand why the U.S. officials would not respond to questions about the cables that were leaked to WikiLeaks. Like why would they not respond to it or at least give some sort of statement? And that is my article review for this week. Um, thank you for listening and have a good week.